That's right. Hey, what's up guys and welcome to News-ish. My name is Sam Moss, bringing you stories here from Lagos in Nigeria. Now, first off on our stories today, a couple weeks ago, if you remember, I told you about Black China and Rob Kardashian's trouble in paradise, but no, we were wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. They're, they're just fine. He just decided to delete pictures. There's nothing wrong with that. So yes, they're good. He put up, however, another video of her on his Snapchat with the love struck emoji. How cute. They're in love, how cute. All right, now moving on, Kris Jenner has apparently had an accident with her brand new, well, a week old, white, gorgeous Rolls Royce, and sadly, she broke her wrist due to this accident. Now, a guy in another car beat a red light and she crashed into him, and yes, it's been reported that she has broken her wrist, but she has a family with her in the hospital, and we wish you a very quick recovery, so really, you guys, driving recklessly, what is going on? And the beautiful car. All right, now moving on, Rick Ross talks about his weight loss. If you follow him on Snapchat, you can already tell that he's really working hard to lose weight and he's, it's, he's really trying to be healthy and stay fit. After he had like two seizures, you can only imagine that he's supposed to do this anyway. But he has lost over 100 pounds and is still going strong at it. So well done, Rick Ross. Now moving on, Iyaya has threatened an OAP in Calabar. Why, people? Why do we have to get... No, Jesus. Anyway, the OAP was doing his job in Calabar, simply talking about Iyaya and um, Obi Franklin and if they were parting ways with the record label story, you remember? And he said jokingly, because apparently the OAP is a comedian as well, he said that he hopes that A, in case Iyaya, if it doesn't work for him, maybe he'll come back home to Calabar where he started. Why is this a big deal? I'm just trying to be funny. It's my job. This is what I do for a living. And then Yanya supposedly called him, threatening him that he should never make those kind of comments ever about him again and he doesn't have a problem with him. Basically really harsh, hostile conversation. Just because I made a smirk remark, it's my job. I'm an OAP. All right, and finally, Adequan Lee Gold's album Gold has done amazingly well apparently since he dropped it on the 28th of July. It's a fantastic album. I've heard it myself, but the fans are going crazy over a song with him and see me, don't forget me. It's recently been debut on the Billboard charts as well, so you can see that it's making progress. All right, that'll be all from me today on News-ish. I'll be back with more interesting stories. That's right.